Twitter is a lot more than just posting your own updates. It also allows you to follow tweets from other users so you can see what's going on and connect with the people who are important to you. In this example, I'm using the Twitter app for iPhone, so I'm going to select the More button to see a list of suggested users. And this process should be pretty similar if you're using Twitter on a different device. For example, in a desktop web browser, look for the Who to Follow box, then select View All. A list of suggested accounts to follow will appear, and if you see one you like, just tap the Follow button. If you change your mind, just tap the button again and select Unfollow to unfollow that user. When you start following someone, their tweets will appear in your timeline. If you want to connect with another Twitter user more directly, you can mention them in a tweet. This is also referred to as starting a conversation on Twitter. Select the new tweet button. Then type the at symbol, followed by the username you want to mention in this post. Because you're using the at username system to do this, this is also called tweeting at somebody. When you tweet at someone like this, they'll receive a notification. They can then reply directly to you by choosing the reply button and then posting their message. And you'll see that it pulled in the at username part automatically here since this was already part of a conversation we started. Conversations can often span multiple tweets and as a result, when you use Twitter like this, your tweets won't appear in your timeline by default. That's so your followers don't really have to look at this if they're not interested. But if you are posting something you want your followers to see, there's an easy option. Just put a period at the very beginning of your tweet. That will cause it to appear in your public timeline so anyone can see it. Okay, here's our reply. And we can see that these tweets are connected because they're part of the same conversation. One other thing we want to point out is the direct messaging feature. You can send a private message to anyone who follows you on Twitter and it's not limited to 140 characters. That makes it a lot more like email, so if you're meeting people through Twitter, this is a great way to introduce yourself and reach out with just a little more information than you could normally include in a tweet. Just select the messages icon to see your options. From there you can select any user you want and start sending them a message. So, how will you conduct on Twitter? Now that you've seen all the options, you can think about them more carefully and choose the ones that work for you.